Hey guys, what is going on location out here in Budapest, Hungary? And today we are exploring the city for street art, statues, and communists. This is a pretty awesome sculpture here. This is a monument dedicated to Karl Lutz, who was a Swiss diplomat during World War II. He's credited with saving 62,000 Hungarian Jews. And he did that by making protective documents and um, creating foreign jurisdictions that the Nazis didn't have access to. So in this sculpture, he's kind of uh, portrayed as a golden angelic figure reaching down to someone in need. Yeah, so here it says, whoever saves a life is considered as if he has saved an entire world. So, Carl here has saved 62,000 worlds. Gets his monument. Well done, Carl. Around the corner here, we've got a humongous Rubik's Cube on the side of a building, which might seem a bit random until you realize that the inventor of the Rubik's Cube, Rubik Erno, was actually Hungarian. So this was put up on the 40th anniversary of the Rubik's Cube, which was also Rubik Erno's um, 70th birthday. We have a very popular statue here of a police officer. I guess this police officer had a lot of influence in the department in order to be chosen as the model for this statue. It is interesting that the uh, that the light only falls on that uh, on his belly because I I did read that rubbing the belly is good luck. I'm gonna go ahead and rub the officer's belly here. Oh, it's not light. I think it's just lightened from people rubbing the belly for good luck. So hopefully you have some good luck and whoever is watching this that hasn't subscribed subscribed to my channel. That'll be lucky enough for me. This one up ahead is pretty cool. Kanga, I guess. I like the colors. I like the, the retro look on the top. And if you'll notice, so they have the individual biker up top there. And then on the bottom, let's move in and check it out. There's a bike race. Yep, that's pretty awesome. I like it. Well, I came out here in hopes to find something called an, a Michael Jackson tree. But it looks like it was disassembled. It used to be a kind of memorial, I guess, for Michael Jackson. Kind of controversial figure, so makes sense. Oh, look. There it is. I knew that. So here's uh, the Michael Jackson tree. Yeah. I guess no matter how you feel about Michael Jackson, still has some supporters in Hungary. This mural is called Sower. By a group called Neopaint, who is responsible for a lot of murals out here. The whole art movement, kind of, you can see another one up in the distance, the street murals kind of came when the city got more and more gentrified and people started seeing all these bare walls and thought the city looked kind of boring. So they started adding all this cool street art. 
So where we are right now is called the Fisherman's Bastion. Apparently it is one of the best viewpoints in Budapest, so we're gonna put that to the test. But first, check out this statue in front of me. This is a statue of Saint Stephen, who also happened to be the first king of Hungary. Starting in the year 1000 or 1001, until his death in 1038, he was a king and a saint, Stephen was, and they made this statue for him. We're going to admire some of the architecture in Budapest. This is Matthias Church. Gothic style architecture. It's absolutely incredible. Okay guys, time to test out that view. Let's see if it's as good as everybody says it is. Oh yeah. So across the river, we have a government building. That's right, this is the Parliament of Budapest, but also probably the most iconic building in the city. Yeah, that is absolutely amazing. So back in the day, Budapest used to be three towns, which was Obuda, Buda, and Pest. And they all merged into the city, Budapest, in 1873, I think 1873. So this side of the river, the west side, which I'm on now, was Buda and it's known as the Buddha side. And then the east side that we're looking at with the parliament building was Pest, or the Pest side. So here's a look at where we just were, the Fisherman's Bastion. Holy crap. Well done, Hungary. That is gorgeous. Now on the Pest side of the river, that's where we just were. Got this beautiful view of the Buddha side. And there is, it's not really an art piece, it's a memorial installation here. So these are the shoes on the Danube. And it represents 20,000 Jews who were massacred right here. They were ordered to take their shoes off because the shoes were valuable and then the fascist Hungarian militia mowed them down, shot them, and then their bodies fell into the Danube River and were carried off. So this is a tribute to those Jews that lost their life right here. This is titled 6-3, and it is the victory of the Aranjapat, which is the golden team. Oh, I'm standing in the way now. This was uh, in 1953, November of 1953, the Hungarian team beat England in England, in uh, Wembley, which was the first time that any continental European team had beat England. So this mural commemorates that victory. I had to check what this was. I wasn't really expecting it when I turned around just now. This is St. Stephen's Basilica. If you remember St. Stephen, we saw that statue of him, the, the uh, King St. Stephen of Hungary. Yep. This is a pretty nice structure as well. All right, we got another mural here. This one is called Motivation is a Wonderlust. Oops. It's 
felt some Alice in Wonderland vibes. I do like how it kind of ties in. The building looks like it's crumbling at the top and this kid is trying to protect herself. That's pretty neat. A couple other ones here too. A brain with a Hungarian flag bandana and another Rubik's cube. There's always some new stuff coming, walking around and yeah, we got somebody working on a mural right here. So if you come visit Budapest, figure out what this ends up being and let me know. One of these I actually saw online. And it's coming up. And it's interesting because all of the pictures online, this one which says, love thy neighbor, all the pictures online have a red heart, but obviously it's been updated. The Ukrainian flag colors have been put in there, support for a neighboring country. I just walked 40 minutes to get to Vaidahunyad Castle, and I have no interest in the castle. I am here to see the man, the myth, the legend, Bela Lugosi. Bela Lugosi is the Hungarian actor who played Dracula in the 1931 Dracula film. And this bust actually has a pretty interesting story. So in 2003, the German artist Hartmut Sesch made this bust and brought it into Hungary in hopes of putting it somewhere in Budapest just because he loved Bela Lugosi that much. And what ended up happening is he found this uh, little area that was unfilled. Him and his friends snuck in at night and they put this bust of Bela Lugosi right here. And nobody took it down because everybody loves him. So one more thing about Bela Lugosi that I think is pretty cool. So he was Dracula in 1931. And towards the end of his career, when he was uh, pretty old and confused, he linked up with Edward D. Wood Jr., who went on to make what is considered by many to be the absolute worst film of all time in Plan 9 from Outer Space. And I love it. It's a, it's a pretty hilarious movie. One of the funny things is, um, I mean, it's a bit unfortunate, but Bela Lugosi died of old age halfway through the filming. And Ed Wood did not want to replace Bela Lugosi and start completely over from scratch. So he just had another person stand in with a cloth over their face. <laughs> And uh, yeah, just pretend to be Bela Lugosi. It's one of the reasons why it's considered the worst film of all time. This is the Jewish quarter of Budapest, so it makes sense that there are a lot of murals painted to those who saved the Jews during World War II. This is a mural of Angel Sanz Brins, who was a Spanish diplomat. He saved over 5,000 Jews. He gets his mural right up here. So we are now in probably the most famous and the original ruin bar of Budapest. In 2002, an old dilapidated building was turned into a place for uh, socializing, drinking, hanging out, and now it is nine bars in this area. This isn't actually the original location of uh, Simplisa Kurtz, but it is quite a popular tourist destination now. Thank you. 
So, if you're ever in Budapest, there's a number of copycats, but this is the original. Time Magazine cover, Man of the Year. The date on there is January 7th, 1957, because it is, well, unnamed Hungarian freedom fighter, and this is representing the Hungarian uprising, which took place in 1956 against the USSR. In the middle of this park in Budapest, there is a big monument that is a tribute to the Red Army. And in what must be the worst planning ever, over here we have a statue of Ronald Reagan walking over to the monument. And uh, this Reagan statue was put in place because of his efforts to end the Cold War and uh, stop the Russian influence on Hungary. So I think it's a bit ironic that somehow they put him in this, you know, park facing the Red Army Monument. Found a pretty special place, guys. So after 1945, after World War II, you might know Hungary, they sided with the Nazis. And after that didn't work out, they ended up siding with the Soviets. I'm seeing how that worked. And it didn't work. And so in 1989, the Hungarian dictatorship fell. And in uh, 1991, the Soviet occupation ended in Hungary, and they had to do something with all of the communist statues. So they made a theme park, and that's where we are now. So this one is one of the Soviets shaking hands with, I guess, a Hungarian. Hungarian's shaking with both hands, pretty, pretty happy to be shaking hands with this Soviet guy. Some of these statues are just enormous. This larger than life kind of figure. This one's pretty cool because it's, I mean, and artistically, just it's like this guy pops out of the wall. I dig it. I like the concept anyway, the art concept. So this is the biggest one in the park, or at least the biggest collection of, I guess, people, but it's pretty damaged. I wonder what it looked like when it was all shiny and new. We all knew he was going to be here somewhere. Yep, there's Lennon. This statue, according to the plaque here, was the main entrance of the iron and metal plant. So he's just directing the workers right in the front door. We're going to end it back here at that government building. Man, this is way more impressive than I had expected. This is an awesome sight, guys. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you guys saw some cool stuff today and learned something. See you guys in the next one.